Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we're going to go through this report titled The Australian EV Market Update Current to September 2024. This has been prepared by our good friends at Carloop and it's essentially a snapshot as to the current state of play for electric vehicles here in Australia. Now this video will basically serve as a preview to this document. If you'd like a full copy of this report then head over to the Carloop store. I'll leave a link in the video description below and in this store you can purchase this entire document and uh, you will also receive a discount as well uh, using my special link which Carloop has provided in the video description below so check that out for yourselves but in the meantime let's go through a few key points from this report to start with who is Carloop so Carloop is a Melbourne based EV data aggregation and EV transition company uh, Carloop track and predict the uptake of EVs in Australia helping Australian university researchers policymakers state governments electricity grid operators as well as uh, private companies to better prepare themselves for the EV transition and a big shout out to the Carloop team of course you want to Riz Akhtar from our regular Wednesday live streams as well as the entire team Sophia Richard and Atherin so just a quick forward from Riz, despite the removal of EV rebates in several states, Australia has seen 70,000 new EVs added in the first three quarters of 2024. The total EV fleet size now exceeds 220,000 vehicles. There are now over 1,000 fast charging sites in Australia, and there are over 10 new car brands poised to enter Australia, with dozens of all electric models for consumers to choose from, and therefore providing diversity of options and more choices increasing affordability and accessibility. So in this document, uh, these are the table of contents. So uh, global EV uptake, Australian EV uptake, EV update tracker, passenger EVs, commercial EVs, rideshare EVs, rental EVs, business fleet, government fleet, used EV market, upcoming EV models, EV forecast, charger rollout update, DC charger locations, state by state, and also active charges sites by operator, and finally upcoming EV events. So in this video, I'm gonna to touch on a few uh, topics so mainly uh, passenger EVs uh, and also used EV market update and also uh, the EV forecast and charger rollout update as well. So just a few key points in this preview. Okay, so what's happening in Australia? So in 2024, there were multiple months where sales numbers approached 10,000 units. And in September 2024, uh, EV market share was 7.5%. Whereas in 2023, in the same period, it was only 7.1%. Certainly interest rate rises and cost of living pressures have tempered EV adoption in both August and September this year. Some key milestones include the total EV fleet increasing by 41% since December 2023, approaching 220,000 vehicles, and also expectation of an introduction of fuel emission standards in early 2025 should hopefully boost EV sales next year. Of course, Australia is now becoming a valuable market for Chinese EV manufacturers due to tariffs in other regions like the United States and Europe. So we should see more competitive pricing and new brands entering the Australian market from China. New brands such as Zika, Xpeng, Smart and Leap Motor in coming months. So this is the EV update tracker state by state. You can see New South Wales and Victoria taking the lion's share of the EV adoption as well as Queensland. But if you look at the figures per capita, you'll see that the ACT is actually doing a pretty good job there, outpacing some of the larger states. Let's have a look at a snapshot of passenger EVs in Australia. The most popular passenger EV is still the Tesla Model Y. Certainly fringe benefit tax exemptions have helped boost sales of this model. The Model Y and Model 3 remain the best-selling passenger EVs in Australia, with over 27,000 cars added in 2024. BYD sales have declined a bit due to their PHEV focus with the release of the BYD Sea Lion 6 and the Shark 6 as well coming soon. Uh, BYD Seal has overtaken the Atto 3 as the most popular BYD model in Australia now, and BYD has sold over 11,000 EVs in 2024. MG is also doing very well. Uh, the MG4 is now the fifth most popular EV in Australia with over 3,000 units sold. Kia's EV6 and e Nero has also performed well. All right, let's jump over now to the used EV market. And as at the end of September, over 6,300 used vehicles were listed across multiple platforms and a used Tesla Model 3 for the first time uh, has dropped below $30,000 in this country. That's most likely been fueled by Tesla's own price cuts and also improved supply chains, leading to an increased availability of used Model 3s. MG ZS EV also dropping below the $20,000 mark for the first time and the MG4 dropping below $30,000 for used cars. So what EV models can we expect in coming months in Australia? So according to Carloop, Xpeng G6, the smart range including hashtag 1 and hashtag 3, hashtag 5 possibly as well, 
DPAL S07, Farazan Supervan from the commercial space, MG Cyberster, and the Cherry Omoda E5. Also, the Leap Motor C10 should make an appearance very soon in Australia, Zika X, and also Zika 009 from the Geely Group. I've actually reviewed many of these cars on my channel, so make sure you check out those videos. So what does car loop see for our future here in Australia for EVs? So Australia is due to surpass 250,000 electric vehicles by the end of 2024 and reach 380,000 by 2026. Charging infrastructure should also expand with many networks now in the country, including Tesla, EV networks, NRMA, RAA, and the WA EV network, to name a few. The New South Wales government is also leading the way across the country, investing heavily in public charging infrastructure. Speaking of charging, let's have a look at the charger rollout in Australia currently. This is a map of DC charger locations in Australia. By DC, of course, we mean uh, fast charging, usually 25 kilowatts and above, all the way up to sometimes 350 kilowatts with a wide variety of different charges in between. Lots of networks now in this country, including ChargeFox, EV Networks, Tesla Supercharger, Jolt, BP Pulse, Ampol, and smaller players including Everty and Explorin. And here's another state of origin slide showing DC fast charger sites per state. You can see that, of course, New South Wales and Victoria leading the way as usual. 286 in New South Wales and 263 in Victoria, with a total of 1,053 across the country. Here's a nice little data map, just showing a summary of the different sites from the different charging provider operators. Ampol with now 43 active charging sites. ChargeFox, which includes NRMA, 426 active charge sites, and they are the biggest network in this country. EV Networks, 261, second largest. BP Pulse, starting to add a few more, 55. And Tesla, 103 active charging sites. Arguably the most reliable charger here in Australia. And Jolt with 76 charging sites. Since June 2023, the number of fast charging sites has increased by 74% in Australia. We mentioned Tesla being the most reliable network in Australia and arguably worldwide as well. In 2024, over 40 supercharger stations were added in the country, with Tesla utilizing a dynamic pricing system depending on location, time, and demand. And having personally used the supercharger network, idling fees do help prevent uh, cars from camping and also taking up spaces unnecessarily when not charging. So that is a quick summary of the Australian EV market update report current to September 2024. Thanks again to our friends from Carloop. Here are their contact details, carloop.com.au, info at carloop.com.au if you want to get in touch. And once again, if you'd like a copy of this report, there is a Carloop store with a nice discount code for our ludicrous feed viewers in the video description below. Well, thanks everyone once again for watching this video, and thanks again to our friends from Carlib for providing a preview of this report. Until next time, happy charging.